Okay. You're on. All right, so we have problems in our school dealing with the speed of our network. As of right now, the whole entire school is in one big collision domain. So our project was to design a network that would work more efficiently in our school. So um, what my group did is we divided the school into separate network domains based upon the size and the number of nodes in that domain. Um, right now, you're looking at the library and the offices. We have about 50 computers in that domain. We have the main server in that domain and a few wireless access points because we want to keep the school in the future with the wireless access. Next, we have more classrooms just down the hall in the second domain. The whole purpose of this is to make sure that every part of the school is it's in its own domain and can function separately from the rest of the school to optimize the speed of the network. A problem we had when trying to figure out the domains in the school was the distances between the main hubs and the nodes within the domain. As you can see, there's a large expanse in some between some of these domains, but we figured out how to make it work by placing the routers in the middle of the domain and running cables out. Right here you have the main hall. There's about a computer or two in every room. So this domain isn't real heavy on traffic since it's mostly teachers. The next domain in green is like the domain in blue. It's also mostly teachers, so there isn't a whole lot of heavy use. The domain in orange there, as you see, has a lot of nodes. And these are all three of them classrooms are computer classrooms. There's a lot of heavy traffic within computer classrooms as they're on the internet a lot and transferring files back and forth. So they needed to be in their own domain to minimize traffic throughout the rest of the school. As going along with distances, this wing of the school needed to be in its own domain because it was too far from the rest of the domains in the school.